Hey you guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games and today I'm giving you another deck profile. Today we're giving you Son Goku, uh, the yellow leader. He's really strong, um, especially with Mecha Freeze being rotated out soon, you know, with the huge nerf that's coming. Um, I find him just a really strong leader just because he's one of those leaders that doesn't really need a lot to get him running. So, Son Goku, activate main once per turn, look at the top 10 cards of your deck, add a Bulma. Uh, uh, so it can't be like Bulma Future, it has to be Bulma. And then add it to your hand. Um, it's gonna wait. Uh, you wake at four, but you uh, you uh, you switch to energy over, which is actually kind of a benefit in a way, just because the way we run this deck. So of course we play four of the, um, the youthful bomber for our bomber target and bomber the god tempter as well, just because we want to get some extra blue in there because you know yellow blue is kind of one of the strongest things in this format right now, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, four youthful bomber, very strong card. Good one turn play, good fourth turn play, good end game. One mana draw a card, always gonna be good. Uh, we play three Planet Vegeta. We don't play four, you don't need four because it feels like, you know, when you play late game, you're not really just, you're paying one mana to search something. While most other cards out there will be like one mana, have a 5k on the field, and, you know, draw something. Well, this searches out something, but it's, it's, it's unnecessary, and you eventually get there late game anyways. If you don't, then bad luck. Um, I play four no opening Sun Goku. Um, this is your main awakening, but it's also part of our engine as well. So we kind of like maxed out on the Goku, like the, the the child Goku's as much as we could, just so we could get the most out of it. So during your turn, um, when you combo with this, it comes onto the field, and um, after the after combos, you can take a life. So usually you want to play them around like turn three and combo a few out, awaken, and then like. So you can like combo two because people sit you at six because you know you're, that you're running these. Then you flip over and you just play these for free with 10Ks. It's great. Um, and yeah, they're just great awakening. The only bad thing about them is that um, like when you combo with them, if it's in your opponent's turn, you can't actually just leave them on the field. It's only when it's your turn. Um, of course, four of the most saltiest card, Explosive Spirit, Sun Goku. Um, you know, Shugeshin this out is just the strongest thing ever. Um, you know, people try to push the game. I know, like, Barrier is still a thing, doesn't kill Barrier. But um, if you guys don't know this card, uh, it's a 10k blocker, 3 drop um, with Barrier. When this card enters play, you can pop something in rest mode. Um, and then at the end of the turn, you can actually switch it to attack. Which kind of, like, goes along with the other side of the leader, which I haven't actually explained yet. So, uncontrollable grade 8 Sun Goku. Activate main. Choose one of your battle cards uh, and switch it to rest mode. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, and that card cannot uh, turn to active turn active during the next uh, rest change step. Um, also, of course, you know, swing, draw a card. But so there's really neat combo. So you can like suggest these out um, to like kill things and all that, or just play them. So you can like tap this with this ability. And then like tap one of their stuff. I know like barrier is still a thing, but you know you, you're tapping your, their other things out. And then like you can keep their stuff tapped. And then at the end of the turn it restands. It's really strong. Um, like you know being able to like hold their kales off and everything, hold off like let's say um, like really big beaters that you can't really deal with like late game. Um, so yeah, just being able to do that is great. Um, playing four of kind of the second or first best negate in the game right now. Uh, flying Nimbus, of course, you know, you can ditch a card, uh, ditch a yellow card, and um, negate the attack, and then they can only attack with one more battle card. So um, you can really punish plays, because what they'll do, they'll like swing with one battle card, and then they'll, um, uh, like, they'll swing at the leader first to get the draw, but you can just negate it, and then um, they can only swing with one battle card. Because, like, if they swing with, like, a battle card, then, um, they can still swing with leader and then swing with another one, of course. Um, we play two Crusher Ball just because you the huge like monkey lineup. Like if they play March, you can like crush a ball their um, their monkeys and they come in rest mode. So it's kind of strong in that way. Unless they do have Planet Vegeta, it just means they can't swing with them. So it's really strong. Um, so of course, you know, playing a really big heavy monkey line, playing four uh, Lord of the Great Apes, King Vegeta. Um, you know, search is 5 drop or less, so you'd be able to just search these two. But that's all you really need to search in this deck. Um, 
play three of the absolute great Ape King Vegeta. Um, you know, everyone knows this card. Mecha Freeze has killed this card. It's amazing. Gives all your Saiyans blocker. So, like, not only are you, like, you're giving, like, these blocker, you're also giving, like, all, all your yellow Saiyans. So, it's like you're giving this blocker, this blocker as well. Uh, oh, no, blocker barrier, sorry. Like, you can even give you Shigesh barrier if you really want it. But, you know, I don't ever see anyone actually playing this. But, yeah, great card. Um, double strike, 25k. Swing, restand with Planet Vegeta. Um, playing uh, Raging Great Ape Sun Goku. So, um, you're not really using it to evolve a lot. The main reason why you're playing it is because it's a 25k blocker and it's big. It's really thick. It, like, people really have to invest in trying to get rid of these. Um, and, like, you have that extra advantage for your early game. Because, like, you never have to awaken. You don't have to swing your opponent. So that means, like, late, like you get to late game very easy because you don't need to swing at all and you just use the ability on this side to get your bombers. Um, but, yeah, so this... You'll find that these will just stick on the field for a very long time. Like, you can evolve over these guys, but if you really want to evolve it, you should evolve over your openings, not these. Because these are still, like, a blocker at the end of the day. So, uh, 25k, critical, blocker... Uh, stands at the end of the phase because of pla uh, Planet Vegeta. Um, we're playing Striker Bardock. I'm not playing any of the Desperate Bardock or the, um, uh, what's the other one, the Grade 8 Bard Bardock. I just found that way too slow. Um, like, the Bardock itself is actually a great card because when you play it, you look at the top three, add eight cards to your hand, so you don't actually have to show your opponent. And then it has dual attack, so it can like swing something down restand and then just stay like that and just be protected by planet uh, like the king vegeta so it's very strong so you know or you can just go swing and then swing again but yeah um of course play four shigesh um i was tempted to play three shigesh and then one dodoria um but like you don't really need that extra draw power like maybe it might come in handy a little bit but like just playing four shigesh just so you can get as, as much out of these as you can um for late game of course um of course three we only play three god tempter bulma um so if you don't know this um you know if you want to grab the set one pretty much this will search out a wiss and we play wiss the returning attendant a uh, resting attendant um, when you play this card, you play the top card of your deck as mana. Very strong card. It's the ramp that this deck really needs. Um, like being able to like bring out this like turn two, and then like turn four bringing this down. Like usually you will like you won't be awakened yet, but when you flip over, you can like if they manage to flip you over that turn, um, you can like just untap the mana that you would have done for that. But that's fair. Um, and the main reason why we play blue is because Sensu being strongest card in the game. No, needs no explanation. And then two black cards, we play Marseille, the Mysterious Warrior. Um, it's pretty much our only hard removal in the deck. Like, if you're versing veggies and they're not playing, like, you know, let's say a yellow build, you know, some people play with mirror, like me, um, this will just, like, pipe down their entire board. It's really strong. Um, I'm not playing it over Foo, and I'm not playing it over um, the Time Protector, like, the Time Patrol Protector, Trunks, I think that's his name. Um, just because, like, you need the removal, but at the same time, you don't need that much draw power compared to, like, all these other decks. Like, you are getting a lot of draw power early off. Um, and yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I found it's a very strong deck. Um, you know, one of our people, like, Sean in RPG, you know, he's been, like, hammering this out in most locals, getting pretty good scores with it. And yeah, that's it for the deck profile. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.